a little while ago in the Facebook group Fans of Serif Software, Jim Welsh asked, is there a gradient mask function in Affinity Photo? Now, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't really 100% certain what he meant by this, as I'd never really sort of come across a gradient mask um, function, as I don't have um, Photoshop. Um, but I, what I thought he meant was, you know, can you draw a, ma a gradient on a mask? Which I knew that you could in Affinity Photo, so I thought I'd look into it a bit more. Um, so I come back to Affinity Photo. Now the only problem with drawing on the mask is that you only have like two colours that you can work with, which is black and white. Um, now the white will reveal everything and black will hide everything. So if I add a mask to this picture just by clicking on this mask layer icon, it will add a white mask to this image layer and you won't see any effect because it is a white layer mask so it is revealing everything. So I just drop this down you can see that it is the mask that is highlighted and it is the mask that we're going to draw the gradient on. So if I come up to the gradient tool and change this from none to linear and I'll just draw down the page as you can see at the moment it's it's white one end and a sort of grey colour the other end now where it's white it will be working like a normal white mask and it will reveal everything but as this comes nearer to being black it will make it more transparent which I'm assuming is not quite what um, Jim Welsh wants because you are losing the bottom of the image if I do change that colour let's come up to swatches it's easier to do that way if I change that to black it will make the bottom half totally transparent and the top half sort of become less transparent as it gets nearer to being white. So I'm not, I don't think that's quite what he's after. So what I'll do is I'll delete that mask to come back to this normal image and what I will do now is I will add a pixel layer and again we're going to use the gradient and linear and I'm going to draw the gradient down the page and I'm going to change this bottom one from the default grey to black so this is now going black to white I really need this the other way around so I'm going to reverse this by clicking on the reverse gradient button so the black is now at the top now if I change the blending mode of this to overlay the black darker part of the uh, gradient layer is making the sky darker and the white part is making the bottom lighter so I can move the option point um, slider point in the middle and sort of just make the sky a bit darker and that might be a bit too much for you so you can drop this down to maybe 75% black and darken the bottom by making it not so white say 25% that way so if I now turn that layer off that was the original and with that layer masking um, the image this is what you can do using the gradient and the blend mode of overlay so it's not totally white and it's not totally black but it just makes it the sky darker 
and try and keep the bottom half not so bright and I think that might be what he was after rather than going on to a gradient mask now another I have looked up a few things online and another option is let me delete this now Uh, some of the things that the some people wanted to do, let me just duplicate this this layer is that they wanted to sort of mask off say this side of the image here so they can put some text in down here, keeping the main subject of the image um clear, so you could do this by using the marquee selection tool, make a selection and press Control and J and then this bottom, I'll press Control and D to get rid of the selection area and this layer below I can now flood fill that with black for example Not 100% white. Why is it not? Oh, I've only got it set at 25, 20 percent tolerance. Let's put it out to 100. Yeah, that should fill that. So they could then put some white text in there. Let me just put in some. Let's make this about 36 points and text insert filler text and this must be black text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it white I can now increase the size of that let's say to there and center it so that is what some people in some Photoshop tutorials I looked at about gradient masks they were trying to do but they wanted a sort of a less straight line here so let me just get rid of all of these ones so I'll just bring back this image background image and what I'm going to try and do is now repeat that sort of thing but not have such a straight line for the text box to go into so first thing I will do is to add a pixel layer and I'm going to drag this down and below the pixel image and I'm going to flood fill that with a color now I'm not going to use black or white this time I'm going to select a color from the image um, let's try maybe the this color of the C here and that color will go into that little dot up there and if I click on that dot it should make the it comes to the flood fill option it will make the foreground color that color so I can now flood fill that layer so if I turn off the image layer we have that color in the background so I'm now going to highlight the image layer and I'm going to add a layer mask to that and then I'm going to add a gradient to the layer mask so again I'm going to come to linear and I'm going to draw a line across the image and I'm going to change this end to black that end should be white as it is white and I'm just going to bring this a bit further over here and then I'm going to move this slider
and I might make this not 100% white here. I might just come maybe up to maybe just 5% just to help that blending of the color. Like so. Come off that tall so I can then add the text in there. Like that, so you can still sort of still see the part of the image behind the text. So there's like two different ways of doing the same sort of thing. One using the gradient and one not using the gradient. Quite whether this answers his question about gradient masks. Um, I'm not 100% certain. I personally think it's easier to make the gradient on a separate layer and change the blend mode but I'm hoping one of these options has answered his question. Now there is another way to add a gradient mask type effect um, that a lot of people forget about so much so that even though I knew I had to mention it I forgot to mention it and I've had to sort of re-record re this last bit and tack it on the end of the video I'd already made um, and that is via the effects panel. Now you can do the effects either from this panel here, as you can see you can get gradient overlay. Or if I come back to the layers and I just click on the FX icon, it will open up the layers effects panel. And if I put a tick into gradient overlay, and then click on the word gradient overlay to give me the options I can change the blend mode to overlay and I can change the angle of that gradient so it's now black at the top white at the bottom I can change the colors pretty much the same way as I you do it any other way but you can click on the the end node click on the color and you can do it by sliders or you can do it by swatches so I can make this like 80% black one end and then the other end I can make it say 25% black that way so it's going to be pretty much the same effect that you would have is it if you had made a separate layer and put a gradient on it and changed the blend mode to overlay or whichever blend mode you prefer to use so I and like many other people forget that the gradient overlay is also part of the effects panel so hopefully that will finish this look at gradient masks thank you for watching and goodbye